The right hand stick place. So in this one here, we're rather than placing this way around, we're going to be placing it upside down. So that kind of thing is going on now. To learn this, what I suggest we do is with our right hand, we hit a drum, then we go into our our position here where we're place facing straight upwards. And all I'm doing then is with my arm, I'm just twisting my wrist like this, like I'm opening a door and that turns the stick upside down. Now what I want to try and do here, I'm bringing my arm into my body here, look, nice and tight so that I can place this stick like this, like a column here. I don't want it leaning this way, don't want it leaning this way, don't want it towards you, towards me, I want it nice and straight. Now for some guys, you might have to reach a little bit further out. Got some big arm muscles here, you're going to be a bit further out, right? I'm aiming for the middle, but the middle's a bit too far for me to reach, right? So I'm going to the right side of my drum. And all I'm going to do here, if I put my finger on top of the stick and you do the same, I'm just going to turn around and grab the stick. So I'm spinning around quickly. So I go from this position, spin around all the way like that, as if I'm going to whack the stick like this, but I'm going to pick it up here. So from here into here. So when I place the stick so in this position here, my hand is quite open like this. It's not a normal technique that I'm using there. I'm not holding it with normal technique. I'm having to hold the stick quite a way away. And I might even have this little hole here upside down to be able to place it. I want that vertical, vertical, bring the stick and grab it. And grab it. Now what you may notice is the stick can't balance here forever. It's not like it's just going to stay there. It's going to fall one direction or the other. Now, I, if, I want, if I have it fall that way, it's going to mess things up. If it falls that way, it's going to mess things up. If it falls to me, it's going to mess things up. The only way it can really fall is somewhere in this axis here. So if it goes that way, it's fine. If it goes to the side, it's fine. If it goes this way, it's fine. I want it to hardly move. I want it to just slightly maybe start to fall. So just start to topple this way. So when I'm upside down in this position and I'm about to change to the other one, I'm giving the stick a tiny little bit of a push when I switch like that. So it always falls in the correct direction. So I'm here and off it goes. So I hit, column, upside down column, to the right. Hit, column, upside down column, and it falls to the right. This is often done with left hands doing various different things. So I might get you to begin with just practice doing lots of lefts. Even if you just leave the left bounce in. Just to get the left used to move in while I'm doing the pancake throw. Might start to maybe bring in Maybe something like that. We're going to put it with all sorts of things. Now what I want there is I don't want what I did there accidentally, I noticed myself doing it, is it not to be straight. It's going to be looking far more effective when it's perfectly flat. So that might mean I have to play something different with my left hand. It's going to be a bit more time to be able to play the whole thing. So to recap, Hit your drum. You don't have to go to this vertical column here. You can go straight upside down, and then grab the stick. So up, upside down. Ideally, I want it to sort of stay there when I swap. So I don't want to push it too hard. And then I grab the stick, and I bring it down, and continue to play. So the thing that I'd probably get you practicing is hit the drum, vertical column, upside down vertical column, grab the stick, hit the drum, column. So just sit, watch TV, and practice doing that. And then it's up to you to make up some stuff so with your left hand. That was a bad one. Go try it. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you in the next one.